Right, my name's Suzanne Hutton, um, and myself and Michael Branthwaite and Janine Goldsworthy um, are three artists and we run Red Nile Projects, which is an art organisation. Um, we've been commissioned by Sanctuary Housing to work in Shire Green um, with the community um, because the area is going to be undergoing some street scene changes. Um, well, we're currently in the Phase 1 area, which will be the first area to be redeveloped, uh, and the, the, th the improvements are all based around the, uh, the street scene, so it's a lot to do with paths, pavements, lighting, um, and basically anything outside people's gardens. The, uh, well, the concepts came initially from the community groups who we worked with, uh, then the idea of ladders came in because of the construction going on in the area. Uh, and then that, as that went along, the idea of colour, planning and exhibiting the lamppost in a different way is there uh, came about. So each three all, all deal with each of those in their own unique way. We are in a housing estate and there's approximately 5,000 houses in this estate. It's a huge estate. And our role has been brought in to work with the community to facilitate projects to help them feed into this design uh, but at the same time to try and inspire people and bring a bit of colour and life onto the street before the, the development happens and to show something that tangibly happens because lots of people hear things are going to happen but to see something is completely different so that's our role really. Uh, yeah my name is Chris Butcher and I work as a graffiti artist. Uh, the reaction to it has been really positive, uh, we're decorating and um, because at some point they're going to be taken out. Uh, so we're just giving them a quick kind of coat, a temporary coat, and just to brighten up the area. Some people have suggested that they'd like to see all the lampposts painted, because they like them, you know. Uh, but at the moment we're only doing six of the lampposts. Yeah, it is a bit of an awkward surface to work on in some ways because, you know, I'm, I've been given a photo to work on which is a picture of the sky, you know, and to paint the sky you need a big surface, you know, flat and things, so it's, it's, in some ways it's a bit difficult to interpret a photo of the sky and then paint it on something so thin and, and paint it all the way around. It's not really a perfect image of the photo that we've got to paint, it's more, more of an interpretation of, uh, of the images we've been given. It adds a bit of colour and uh, it's nice and bright, isn't it? Because they're really unique, the green lampposts to Shire Green, they're like a, an original design feature of the estate. Um, and everyone that we've spoken to seems to really love them, so we thought we'd highlight them. So we've been working with the community in order to get their ideas on what they actually want these designs to look like, what they like about Shire Green, what they don't like about it. The shapes are based on the footprint of Shire Green, so as an estate it's not made up as a grid format, it's got a quite unusual sort of concentric, um, concentric shape, so some of the shapes of the perspex are based on the st actual street design. supposed to be having big changes, aren't we, having new lamps and uh, brightening things up again. Well we were brought on board by Sanctuary Housing, um, but we're also working with Planet Architect who um, we're responsible to and it's also a partnership with the council as well, with Sheffield City Council, so they're the people who have commissioned us to do the project and brought us on board. It's, it's great to come out and do something right in people's doorsteps and in the, in the green spaces that people don't use normally. I think it's lovely. I do really think it's nice. Well, like, I think they'd look nice for them all to be done. 